Today we going to discuss the topic, what is root of drug administration, by, Professor, Saminatan, Kyra Hanam, contact mail id, prof.samiacademy, at, gmail.com. Next slide, definition and meaning of root of drug administration, the root of administration is determined by the properties of the drug, for example, water or lipid solubility, ionization, and by the therapeutic objectives, for example, the desirability of rapid onset, the need for long-term treatment, or restriction of delivery to a local site. Most drugs can be administered by a variety of routes. The choice of appropriate route in a given situation depends both on the drug as well as patient-related factors. The route of drug administration is simply defined as the path by which a drug is taken into the body for diagnosis, prevention, cure or treatment of various diseases and disorders. Next slide, different routes of drug administration, route of drug administration may be classified into four types, known as, one enteral route of drug administration, for example, oral, sublingual, buccal, nasogastric, gastrostomy and etc. Two topical route of drug administration, for example, transdermal, ophthalmic, otic, nasal, vaginal rectal and etc. 3. Pulmonary route of drug administration, for example, gases, aerosols, inhaled solid, powders and etc. 4. Parenteral route of drug administration, for example, subcutaneous, intraperitoneal, intravenous, intradermal intramuscular and etc. Next slide, type 1, enteral, oral route, giving a drug by mouth is the most common route of administration, but it is also the most variable and involves the most complicated pathway to the tissues. Some drugs are absorbed from the stomach however, the duodenum is the major site of entry to the systemic circulation because of its larger absorptive surface. Advantage, safest and most common, economical route of administration, generally safe route of drug administration, simple and convenient for the patient. The patient can self-administer. Disadvantages, limited absorption of some drugs, food may affect absorption, patient compliance is necessary, drugs may be metabolized before systemic absorption, oral route not possible in unconscious patients, slow onset of action, the drug may be destroyed by digestive enzymes and or stomach acid. Next slide, type 1, enteral. Sublingual placement under the tongue allows a drug to diffuse into the capillary network and enter the systemic circulation directly. The mucosa of the oral cavity contains a rich blood supply that provides an excellent absorptive surface for certain drugs. Medications given by this route are not subjected to destructive digestive enzymes, nor do they undergo hepatic first pass metabolism. Advantage bypasses destruction by stomach acid. Rapid drug absorption action, avoids first pass metabolism, the patient can self administer, disadvantages, limited to certain types of drugs, limited to drugs that can be taken in small doses, most drugs are not available as sublingual formulations, the taste of the sublingual dosage form may not be liked by the patient, placing the sublingual may be inconvenient for some patients, irritation to the oral mucosa, Next slide, type 1, enteral a buccal route, the buccal tablet is placed and retained in the buccal region that is, between the oral mucosa and the mandibular arch where it dissolves and is absorbed into circulation. These buccal regions, such as the hard palate, gingiva, or dorsal surface of the tongue, do not have keratinized epithelia, so they are more favorable for drug absorption. Advantage. The administration is effortless, possible even in unconscious patients. Drugs with first pass metabolism provides better permeability than the skin. Disadvantages, drugs having unpleasant tastes cannot be given by this route. Not suitable for large doses. The surface area is small and the absorption area is relatively smaller. Next slide, type 2, topical, transdermal route. 
Transdermal is a route of administration where inactive ingredients are delivered across the skin for systemic distribution. Transdermal administration delivers medication through the skin via patches or other delivery systems. Advantage, bypasses the first pass effect, convenient and painless, ideal for drugs that are lipophilic and have poor oral bioavailability, ideal for drugs that are quickly eliminated from the body. Disadvantages, some patients are allergic to patches, which can cause irritation, drugs must be highly lipophilic, may cause delayed delivery of drug to the pharmacological site of action, limited to drugs that can be taken in small doses. Next slide, type 2, topical, ocular root, the ocular root of drug administration is generally associated to treat eye diseases, the ophthalmic preparations are available in the form of water solutions, isotonic solutions, buffered solutions, emulsions, and several types of dosage forms with one or more active ingredients. Advantage, provides direct application to the site of action, faster drug absorption and less systemic and visual side effects. It offers accuracy and uniformity in dose rate. It is possible to achieve sustained and controlled release. Disadvantages, rapid and extensive elimination, cause extensive loss of drug resulting in poor retention of the drug at the site of action. Temporary blurring of vision. Limited drugs are suitable to formulate ocular root pharmacological site of action. It has limited permeability to the cornea. Next slide, type 2, topical, aortic root. The drug is administered in the outer ear canal as liquid drops. It is used to treat local infections, inflammation and there is minimal systemic absorption. Ear drops containing solutions or suspensions are typically applied only to the outer ear canal. Unless the drugs are used for a long time or used too much. Little of the drugs enter the bloodstream, so body wide side effects are absent or minimal. Drugs that can be given by the otic root include hydrocortisone, to relieve inflammation, ciprofloxacin, to treat infection, and benzocaine, local anesthetic. Next slide, type 2, topical, nasal root, nasal administration, popularly known as snorting, is the absorption of drugs across the nasal mucosa that is not accessing the respiratory tract. It is a form of administration that can be used for both local and systemic therapies and is presented as an alternative, non-invasive route, especially useful in the case of extensively metabolized or labile drugs in the GI medium. Advantage, drugs that are orally not absorbed can be delivered to the systemic circulation by nasal drug delivery, rapid onset of action, self-administration. Avoidance of the gastrointestinal tract and first pass metabolism, improved convenience and compliance. Disadvantages The active ingredient must have a molecular weight of less than 1 kda to be absorbed. It is not suitable for drugs that are irritating or injurious to the nasal mucosa. Diseases and conditions of the nose may result in impaired absorption. The dose is limited due to the relatively small area available for absorption. Next slide, type 2, topical, vaginal root, the vagina is the relatively uncommon route for drug administration, however, they can be ideal sites for drug delivery to certain diseases and patient groups. This belongs to the transmucosal routes of drug delivery and is used either for local or systemic drug delivery. Various dosage forms like suppositories, gels, creams, ointments, foams and vaginal rings are available for this route. Advantage, this is the best route for the administration of proteins, peptides and macromolecules. Drugs like contraceptives, steroids, metronidazole and antiretroviral drugs are administered through this route. Irritation to the stomach can be avoided. An increase in bioavailability. First pass metabolism can be avoided. Contact with digestive fluid is avoided thereby preventing enzymatic degradation of some drugs. Self-medication is possible. Rapid drug absorption and quick onset of action can be achieved. Disadvantages. Patient in compliance. Only a few drugs are administered by this route. Some of the drugs are sensitive to vaginal pH. Local irritation and variability related to the menstrual cycle. 
menopause and pregnancy, gender specificity, influence with sexual intercourse, leakage of drugs from the vagina and wetting of undergarments. Next slide, type 2, topical, rectal root. The rectum is the ending portion of the large intestine, approximately 15 centimeters long. From the colon to the anal sphincters, rectal drug delivery refers to the administration of drugs or medications via the rectum for local or systemic effects. Rectal medication may be in suppository form or in liquid form to be administered as a retention enema. Advantage, applicable for nausea, vomiting, and unconscious patients. Suitable for an unpleasant taste of drug. An important factor in children allows achieving rapid systemic effects. The absorption is not influenced by food or gastric emptying. Part of the metabolism and first pass hepatic elimination is avoided. Preferred to relieve constipation or hemorrhoids. Disadvantages Inconvenient, absorption is slow and erratic, irritation or inflammation of rectal mucosa can occur. Only a few drugs are administered by this route. Absorption can be highly irregular and incomplete. The reduced surface area may limit absorption. It is possible the degradation of certain drugs by microorganisms in the rectum. Patient adherence may be a problem. Next slide, type 3 pulmonary, inhalation route. The inhalation route is used for a local effect or systemic effect. The drug is inhaled through the mouth and delivered into the lungs. Medications administered through inhalation are dispersed via an aerosol spray, mist, or powder that patients inhale into their airways. Most patients taking medication by inhaler have asthma or chronic respiratory disease. Advantage. Absorption is rapid can have immediate effects. Ideal for gases. Effective for patients with respiratory problems, the dose can be titrated, localized effect to target lungs, lower doses were used compared to that oral or parenteral administration, it is easy and convenient to apply the formulation, fewer systemic side effects, disadvantages, most addictive route, drug can enter the brain quickly. The patient may have difficulty regulating the dose, drug retention and drug clearance may be a problem. Some patients may have difficulty using inhalers, there may be drug irritation and toxicity. Next slide, type 4, parenteral, intradermal route, intradermal injections, ID, are injections administered into the dermis, just below the epidermis. The intradermal injections injection route is the longest absorption time of all parenteral routes. These types of injections are used for sensitivity tests such as T, B, allergy, P, C, G, and local anesthesia tests. The most common sites used are the inner surface of the forearm and the upper back, under the scapula. The dosage of an intradermal injection is usually under 0.5 ml. The angle of administration for intradermal injections is 5 to 15 degrees. Advantage, improve vaccine efficacy. Dose sparing strategy during a shortage, reduced cost, absorption is slow and studies it may use to test for allergic reactions, overcome poor response, example immunocompromised, disadvantages, skin holds limited volume optimal dose is not known, ID injection technique requires skill and time, injection site reactions discoloration swelling, itching, it is painful and breaks the skin barrier. Only a small amount of the drug can be administered. Next slide, type 4, parenteral, subcutaneous route, the subcutaneous route of drug administration, also called hypodermic administration, involves injecting a drug into the loose connective tissue between the dermis of the skin and the muscle layer. It is usually performed on the external side of the arm or thigh, or on the anterior face of the abdomen and generally admits smaller injection volumes than the intramuscular route. Advantage, suitable for slow-release drugs, ideal for some poorly soluble suspensions, it is a good route for skin infections, safer than intravenous and intramuscular routes, it is a good route if a prolonged effect is to be achieved, self-administration is possible, depot preparations for sustained action can be made. Disadvantages, if the drug is irritating it might cause the sloughing off of the skin epidermal tissue, 
it is suitable only for non-irritant drugs, drug absorption is slow hence it is not suitable for emergencies, only small volumes can be administered. Next slide, type 4, parenteral, subcutaneous root, the intramuscular, I, M, Root of drug administration is a common route for parenteral injections. The medication is deposited deep into the muscle mass, past the dermis, subcutaneous tissue, and into the very deepest layers of the muscle. It can be in aqueous solutions, which are absorbed rapidly, or in specialized depot preparations, vehicles such as polyethylene glycol, which are absorbed slowly. Advantage Absorption is more rapid as compared to the oral route, suitable if drug volume is moderate, avoids the gastrointestinal tract and first pass metabolism, suitable for certain irritating and oil drug substances, muscles are highly vascularized thus, the drug could be absorbed hematologously, disadvantages, can be painful and assistance is always required, can cause intramuscular hemorrhage, affects certain lab tests. Create in kinase, the wrong technique may cause an abscess at the site of injection, injury to the nerves leading to pasis of the muscle, unlike IV, large volumes cannot be administered, it can cause break the skin barrier and aseptic conditions are needed. Next slide, type 4, parenteral, intravenous root, an intravenous, I, V, injection is an injection of a medication or another substance into a vein and directly into the bloodstream. It is one of the fastest ways to get a drug into the body. For administration involves a single injection followed by the insertion of a thin tube or catheter into a vein. This allows a healthcare professional to administer multiple doses of medication or medicated infusions without having to re-inject needles to deliver each dose. Advantage can have immediate effects and 100% bioavailability, ideal if dosed in large volumes, suitable for irritating substances and complex mixtures, valuable in emergency situations, drugs can be delivered at a uniform rate, dosage titration permissible, ideal for high molecular weight proteins and peptide drugs, bypass first pass metabolism, disadvantages, pain at the site of injection, unsuitable for oily substances, self-medication is not possible, and may induce hemolysis, bolus injection may result in adverse effects, most substances must be slowly injected, strict aseptic techniques needed, once the drug is injected, its action cannot be halted, extravasation can cause injury, necrosis, and sloughing of tissues, local irritation may cause phlebitis. Next slide, are the routes of drug administration, into arterial, into an artery, for example, vasodilated drugs in the treatment of embolism, into articular, into a joint space, for example, used in treating osteoarthritis, intracardiac, into the heart, for example, adrenaline during cardiopulmonary resuscitation, intracavenous A, an injection into the base of the penis, intralesional, into a skin lesion, for example, acne medication, intraocular ray, into the eye, for example, some medications for glaucoma, intraosseous infusion A, into the bone marrow, intraperitoneal A, infusion or injection into the peritoneum, for example, peritoneal dialysis, intrathecal A, into the spinal canal, for example, spinal anesthesia and chemotherapy, intravesical, Infusion is into the urinary bladder, intravitreal, through the eye, intradrius or injections, into the muscle in the wall of the bladder. Next slide, factors governing choice of route, 1 physical and chemical properties of the drug, the physical properties are solid, liquid and gas, the chemical properties are solubility, stability, P, H, irritancy, etc., 2 site of the desired action, localized, generalized, not approachable, 3 rate and extent of drug absorption, 4 effective digestion and first pass metabolism, 5 the rapidity of response desired, 6 accuracy of dosage required, 7 condition of patient. Thank you for your attention, further information, kindly contact prof.samiacademy at gmail.com. 
Disclaimer. This channel does this not promote or encourage any illegal activities and all contents provided by this channel are meant for educational purposes only. Any copyrighted material on these slides is included as fair use for educational purposes only. It will be removed at the request of copyright owners is.